Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club, guys. It's been a while since I've made two videos in a day, but here we are. We had some breaking news um, that I thought was exciting. Um, pertains to Solana, uh, Cardano, Filecoin, all of these coins that were called securities by the SEC in their court cases against Binance and Coinbase. So let's get over to the news. This is an amendment that the SEC just filed in their court case against Binance. And right down here in the red box, it says the SEC informed defendants that it intends to seek leave to amend its complaint, including with respect to third party crypto securities as defined in the SEC's omnibus opposition to defendants. Uh, motion to, to dismiss, obviating the need for the court to issue a ruling as to the sufficiency of the allegations as to those tokens at this time. So what that means is they're kind of backpedaling and they're like, okay, well, we're going to, we're going to take that back about you know, Solana, Cardano, Filecoin, um, Matic, uh, Polygon, um, Atom, Sand, Mana, Algo, um, and, and several others. There, you know, there was like 12 or 13 coins that they named as securities in those files, uh, lawsuits. So good news, right? Like, all of these coins, Solana, obviously the one that I'm focused on because I do own Solana, uh, fair disclosure. Um, so all of these coins are no longer named as securities for, uh, by the SEC, right? Well, what's confusing to me, guys, is they made an amendment to this lawsuit instead of just dropping the lawsuit. Now, there, there are probably some other minor things in these lawsuits, and granted, they haven't done uh, the same thing in the Coinbase case, which they, they named those coins as securities in that case also, but this was the main part of both of these cases was that these 12 or 13 coins were securities and Coinbase and Binance were acting as unregistered security broker brokers. So without these securities, what's the case, right? So I just, I, the confusing part for me is why these lawsuits aren't just dismissed all out. Um, you know, I know in the Coinbase case, there was a few other things going on. Uh, they did have staking involved in that case, which I'm not sure if that's the case in the Binance lawsuit or not. Um, but I believe that has been thrown out already by the judge in the Coinbase case. Um, so I just don't know what else is left. You know, I, I feel like the SEC should just drop these cases, but that's, uh, that's not my decision to make, I guess. But this is a big win for all 12 or 13 of those coins. So Solana, one big thing with Solana is that, and, and all of these other coins was that the the coins like Solana, <clears throat> excuse me, like Solana, that Robinhood, major trading platform, had offered Solana and some of these other coins on their platform until the SEC named them as securities, and then they took them off their platform. So the big question now is 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 that um, do you know, Robinhood has already included Solana in their platform in the UK. They had just taken it off of 
their platform in the US because of this regulatory, you know, um, enforcement action, right? So it'll be interesting to see if, if um, Robinhood relists these coins. And if so, all bets are off, you know, like <laughs> this, this is pretty bullish for all of these coins. So that's the news guys. Again, if you guys haven't, uh, gone over to Flipside Sanctuary and helped those animals out, please do so. Their website is flipsidesanctuary.org. Go over, throw them a few dollars, help out some abused and abandoned, neglected animals. Um, and do something positive for, for today. So head over, do that. And as always, guys, please hit the like, subscribe, uh, all of that happy stuff. Share this video around to, to people who you, who you might think find it interesting. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my live stream on the Federal Reserve meeting. Bye.